thought it could ever happen here. They are an army of international terrorists. America has not been invaded by a foreign enemy in nearly 200 years. Their target, America. Their objective, control. Eighteen hours from now, America will be a different place. Now, only one thing stands in their way. It's time to die. Invasion USA is an action thriller movie that was released on September 27th, 1985. Another Chuck Norris movie. Well, you know the drill. Let's see if it's good by starting with the story. Okay, so the story is about a bunch of terrorists who invade the United States of America, led by Rostov. Rostov and his terrorists also go after ex-CIA agent Matt Hunter, and so Matt decides to finish his mission of taking down Rostov that for some reason the CIA abandoned. You know, this story is actually pretty fucking good. Why? Well, it has a wonderful simplicity to it. The premise itself is very simple, but the way that it is done makes it all work and seems so authentic. Now let me explain. This movie is kind of a cautionary tale of Russian terrorists and how they could very well have invade America. Looking back on it now, many would see it as some sort of right-wing paranoia movie, but you have to understand that at the time it was made, it was a very real possibility. But the thing is, it shows very realistically what would happen if Russian terrorists did invade America. If Russian terrorists did invade America, the things in this movie are exactly what would happen if they did. The attention to detail is astounding. It really fucking is. Besides, communism is something that sounds good on paper, but in practice, not so much. And that's any way you slice it. But I don't really want to go into the problems with communism, so let's just talk about Invasion USA itself. One of the things that really elevates the movie for me is the fact that each person that the terrorists kill is, for all we know, just some innocent person trying to live their life. They all have individual lives that differ very much from each other. You get absolutely no pleasure or satisfaction of any kind when you see them get killed. I think that's kind of the whole point. It shows that Chuck Norris, who was one of the screenwriters of this movie, deep down really respected the idea of people choosing how to live their lives and didn't look down on people who didn't live exactly like him. This gives the whole conspiratorial militaristic angle a shit ton of humanity that makes it more understandable. But another thing I like about this story is the character of Matt Hunter himself. Matt is one badass motherfucker. He is pretty much a trigger-happy, blood-crazed agent whose purpose in life is to annihilate every single one of his fucking enemies one at a time. This is shown at its fucking best in a line that is repeated a few times in this movie. It's time to die. Fucking awesome. He has no ties to anyone. He has no real love interest. He's just a one-man army on his, on his own. It really helps you root for him so goddamn much. I wouldn't have it any other way. Of course, having this movie be pretty raw in many of its scenes doesn't hurt either. Now, the only thing I don't care for is the whole part when Matt is arrested by the feds and they send him to some building to be put in jail, but I guess they just let him go free after that because afterward they show him in an office building that is very much different from the other building 
for some inexplicable reason. He even still does shit that is not too dissimilar from what he has been doing this whole time. I feel like there could have been scenes that showed how the law realized that he was their best bet in stopping the terrorists and remembered his CIA background and eventually let him go. It just happened a little too abruptly, and it feels like the filmmakers were just rushing through the story at that point. But other than that, I think it is a well put together story. Now, for those of you who have seen it, you may be asking, what about the ending? And for those of you who haven't, you may want to skip to the timestamp in the description. Honestly, I had no fucking problem with the ending. It pretty much just ends with Matt blowing up the bastard Rostov. There is some whispering afterwards, but then it just cuts to the credits right there. Honestly, we don't need anything else. You could argue that there could have been a celebration afterward, but that moment is good enough to celebrate for me. Because it was so goddamn good. And that bastard deserved it. The only good terrorist is a dead terrorist. Time for the action scenes now. They're pretty fucking awesome. You got plenty of gunplay and explosions. But there's also some blood and a pretty fucking sweet fight between Matt and Rostov. It is filmed and edited pretty well for the most part. The scene at the mall during Christmas shopping particularly has some neat destruction. Canon Films made this, but this might be the most destruction they have ever had to put on film. And it doesn't even feel, and it almost doesn't even feel low budget. Keyword, almost. As for the production values, the cinematography is decent and so is the editing. The sound is not the greatest, and the music is even weaker in that regard. So the production values are a bit weaker than missing in action, but still, I would not go so far as to call it B-movie level. Overall, Invasion USA is a pretty fucking good Chuck Norris movie. It has a decent concept that is done better than you would expect, as well as great action scenes and production values. The problems I do have with it are the fact that there are some heavy-handed moments that were thankfully extremely rare, and that whole plotline with Matt getting arrested that the filmmakers kind of dropped midway through. But overall, this is a fun movie with an intense and raw style that makes it so enjoyable. I mean, Matt Hunter does frequent a titty bar at one point. This is essential for fans of Chuck Norris. I give Invasion USA 4 out of 5 stars, with the title of Awesome. Anyway, I'm Spike Robot. If you like this video, you can subscribe to my channel. And, uh... Take it easy. Support our troops.